Hi guys, well, I'm back from gardening jobs. Two lawns to coat. Well, on my way home I bumped into a lady friend of mine and I was chatting to her. And she had a, a big American bulldog. So he was a big dog, big powerhouse. And he was quite a lot too much for her, because psychologically, I know the dog quite, quite... He, psychologically, he was a bit uh, not all there. Because, you know, the previous owner, they abused him. So, from a pup. So, psychologically, he had quite a lot going off. So, she couldn't really... She couldn't really train him to how she wanted him. Uh, so, he quite quite a little bit dangerous. Beautiful dog, but... Very, I know when a dog's very nervous and he's aggressive all the time, that can tell you a lot about the dog's temperament. Uh, like I said, cry for help, a lot of, lot of things going off, you know, the abusers. Anyway, so she, he's been a good dog, a good house dog, but different kettle of fish if you try to walk him on the street. Bear in mind she's a woman. Uh, I know a lot of the girls can angle the big dogs better than the guys. There's a lot of domineering women out there. <laughs> so, I know. So, but not all the girls are like that. And they can't angle the big dogs. So, I'm chatting to her and she's on about buying a staffy. Lovely temperament, staffies. English staffy. Uh nice with kids they just like to fight other dogs but she's on about looking at a staff eh? and I thought well and then she, she, she says but I've been to look at American Bulldog so I said you don't want to get an American Bulldog but if you do go and look at the parents you know I don't know what it is guys people I have a friend and they've got American Bulldogs and they just go and buy the dog thinking that the pups are going to be okay when they grow up and you've got some like psycho dog because the bread now yeah it, it's not always our dogs brought up I've had a lot of dogs it's not always how the dogs brought up you can bring the dog up nicely you can train him uh, but if he's got that if he's got that snap and he's just going to go, you won't stop him. And if he's going to do it, he's a big powerhouse, American Bulldog, he's going to go. And too late, it's too late. Somebody's going to get bit to pieces or some poor kid's going to get it. Um, so I tell her, I said, you need to go look at the parents. Uh, you really need to go out with the parents. Go out with the owner, walk the dogs. Uh, and if the dogs, if the male and the female, the dog and the bitch, if they've got a really good temperament, it's, the pups probably will be the same. So she needs to do that. But I had a, I had a bull mastiff and I bought him when he was little and he grew fast. It was a little dominant thing. <laughs> Beautiful little thing. Oh, I used to love him. My first bull mastiff. I love that dog. But I got a bitch. I bought a bitch too. Wow. I miss that dog. Uh, not so much the the nutcase, the dog I bought at first. But I did go out with the mum and the, 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 the dog and the bitch when I bought him. And they were fairly okay, but if they came across a sheep, <laughs> there wouldn't be much left at sheep put it that way so anyway so I bought my pup I fetched him home really dominant from being little uh, fetched him up round my daughter so I fetched him up round kids uh, soft as a brush lovely and then when he just grew so fast but I was feeding him all the time uh, I was looking after him too much pampered uh, it was because he was my first bull mastiff. Uh, I used to walk him. He'd do anything I told him. 
anything I told him to do, he'd do it. Ah, <laughs> let him off the lead, and he'd. And I could, I could, I could be sat here, and I could be talking to him. Could be over there, and I could be talking to him, and he'd. He'd just ignore you. Uh, so that's how he was. He, in his eyes, he was the boss, and he used to try it on every couple of weeks. Dominant dog, powerhouse of a dog. And like I say, never, never, I never eat my dogs. I bring my dogs up with a lot of confidence. But I could open the door and I could let him out, and straight away he'd guard. It was his natural instinct. That's what they bred for in the olden days. He saw it was his natural instinct to guard. Wow, he was good at it. As soon as you let him out of the house, he was open and he'd guard and he was he was good at it. Uh, but you'll drop a pin at night. If you dropped a pin at night, uh, he'd, go f he'd go through that door or through a window and he'd absolutely rip you to pieces. And I couldn't get him out on it. I tried a lot of things. Uh, Lots of things you just could not get him out of it because it, it's in him. So, yeah, how you bring a dog up, yeah, it's a lot to do with it. But if he's got that streak, that strain, it's a strain, and that strain's bred into him, it's bred into him to kill a man, to hold a man down, to kill a dog, it's bred into him. So, people don't understand. Uh, mastiffs very dangerous I know lots of people with bull mastiffs they're off the lead soft as a brush they never leave the owner beautiful dogs a cat can come in front of them they just look at the cat and walk away nothing phases them but there's always going to be one is what's still got that strain and that's the difference yeah, American Pitbull, beautiful dog, gorgeous dog, athlete powerhouse. But if you get that strain, that strain is bred into them. A lot of people don't understand the strain. Uh, same with staffies, same with staffies. If there's that strain in them, people don't understand it. I'll give you a little example. Uh, I was walking to the shop about ten, 10 years ago, walking to the shop, and I saw a guy with a Rottweiler, German. So this guy's got a Rottweiler. He's about six, six to eight months old, little chunky. So he's, he's fairly biggish, little chunky. And I saw this girl, and she walked past him, and a lovely dog. Soft as a brush. Uh, yeah, soft as a brush. I get him apart, lovely dog. I went in the shop, come out of the shop, and I'm walking past, and this little, this girl's walking past with the baby, with her little kid, and uh, she walked near the dog, the little girl, thump, straight at her face. Uh, so if the guy had just yanked him back, he'd have grabbed her face and he'd have bit lovely dog he's never done that before it's too late he's never done that before it's too late okay guys if you've got dangerous dogs which i know a lot of you have i was the same when i was a kid my some of my dogs like i said i could snap my fingers they'd do as i told them they'd fetch me newspaper from shop if i asked them they were that good but they're always one there was one and he, he was going to do what he wanted to do and that was that. So, dangerous dogs, guys. I know a lot of you are using the dogs for the wrong reasons. So, you need to keep the strain out of the public eyes. You need to stop breeding that strain. I know you're not going to stop if, you've, if you're doing what you're doing with them, but stop. Stop just putting that dog to any dog, to pet dogs. Uh, don't do it. If you're going to breed your staffies or your pit bulls, 
get the good strain. Fopex, get the good strain. Uh, I know it's in them. I know it's bred in them to fight and kill. Um, so get this, get that good strain. Do whatever you're going to do with that strain. Not just going to stop you anyway. You're just going to do it anyway. You're going to breed it. But keep it away from the public. Don't let kids have it. Uh, you remember the band dog? Some of you will remember the band, the band dog. I'm talking a long time ago. I know a lot of you guys with pit bulls think you know it all. You've seen it all. You've had it all. You haven't. There's a lot of dogs that you don't know anything about. There's a lot of breeds you don't know exist. Fortunate for some. Uh, but a long, long time ago, you'll probably know this one. Uh, the band dog. It was coming to Great Britain, the UK. And there was a lady in London and she did have a band. A band dog. And this band dog weighed 25 stone. And the band dog, he was a Neapolitan cross pit bull. There might have been something else in him from Russia. But that's what he was. He was a band dog. And there was a lady in London who had one. One of the first ladies to have one. Uh, it got banned fast. But that's what he, he was. He was a Neapolitan Mastiff crossed with a pit bull. Yeah, you'll get that strain. You know what's going to happen. And I'll tell you a story. Uh, I'll tell you a story about a Neapolitan Mastiff. Beautiful dogs. I love Neapolitans. Beautiful dogs. But I'll tell you. You know what they were bred for, guys. So no need to tell you what they're bred for. For God. One or two other things uh, we're not going to. Um, one day... In a Neapol, I, I can't pronounce it, guys. It's Italy. Neapolitan, Neapol, uh, in Italy. Um, there was an old lady and an old guy, and they was going on holiday, so they asked the neighbour to look after the two Neapolitan mastiffs. Bear in mind, these are Neapolitan mastiffs, the guard dogs. They live in a stable, they're that big. They have to have a stable because they're that big. So what happened, guys, is the Neapolitans, the, la the lady and the gentleman went on holiday and the next door neighbour went in to look after the dogs. Well, she didn't feed them for three or four days. Don't ask me why. So the neighbour, can't remember if it was a guy or a lady, she went into the into the next door neighbours to feed the dog in a chateau, a big chateau. I know they have chateaus in uh, France and Italy. So she went to the big chateau, opened the door for the dogs, and the, the two Neapolitan dogs were starving. They killed her and they ate her. And when the lady and gentleman from Italy got back off their holidays, there was the remains of the next door neighbour. So, I know a lot of you love dogs. I know a lot of you know a lot about dogs. And you'll have different views on dogs. But all I'm saying about dogs, if you're going to buy these big dogs, guys, and you've got kids, be careful, because they're going to grow up. And if they've got that mad, crazy strain... You're going to have a lot on your hands. And if you try to get rid of that dog, because you can't tangle the dog, and basically some fool comes to that comes to buy the dog, you don't know what they're going to do with that dog. So it's a dangerous dog. So doesn't it matter, doesn't matter how good you are at training a dog, if you're a, if you're a dog psychology psychologist uh, because you have to read the dog guys uh, it, it'll come to a point you'll just not get that you won't get into him you won't get into how he thinks 
because he's bred, he's from he's got that strain. Uh, so he's just going to be a total nut, a total nutcase. So if you've got one of those types of dogs, guys, you don't know what to do with him. Uh, you're going to have to look into it and get rid of him if he's dangerous and you're scared of him. Cause, cause my uh, my cousin, who I've been chatting to, she's going to go and buy this American uh, bull mastiff. Sorry, this American mastiff. Uh, so when she buys him uh, American bull, when she gets this American bull, de depending what she's thinking of buying, when she goes to buy that dog, I mean, she's, she, I hope he's okay anyway, and she checks everything out. But the dog she's just had, a nightmare. And she can't tangle it, she couldn't tangle him. But he's passed away now, when she's had him, she's managed to cope with him, but really big strong dog if you haven't got the personality guys for that powerhouse of a dog it's just not going to be any good for you beautiful dog but i hope you understand the strain it's the strain uh, and you won't train it out you won't do anything with it you'll be safe it's it's your next door neighbor's kid or the guy walking down the road or the old lady, what's going to suffer? So, but if you have a dangerous dog, you're not sure what to do with it, guys. Look into it and go from there. Okay, guys, I thought, well, I'm going to talk about dogs. But my bull mastiff, my ex-girlfriend a long time ago, she bought me a bull mastiff. A bull mastiff bitch from Leeds. Oh, I think I've still got the dog's papers. Beautiful. Fawn. Fawn and black. She used to beat the other one up. <laughs> so she was tough. She was a bitch and she was really tough. Beautiful. Really friendly person personality. And the, she's the only dog who I miss. And I, I got rid of her because I split up. Long time ago. So, yeah... I don't know what's happened to her, but that's it. You will get a dog, you will split up, you have a beautiful dog. What happens, guys? You have to think about these things. If you don't have time for a dog, don't get a dog. Because a dog, it's a commitment. You have to look after the dog. So, if you haven't got the time, or a mansion, or three or four acres of fields on the back of your house to let the dogs out don't get a big dog ok guys take care god bless don't forget to like and subscribe thumbs up and for all you haters out there have a sweet beautiful week and god bless and thanks for all the nasty comments <laughs> yep yeah, crazy dogs what can you do? Yeah, have a great night, guys. Take care, God bless. Tomorrow. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. But that's your uh, dangerous dogs. So, take care. Look after them. Think about what you're going to buy. Whether it's a guard dog. Uh, think about it, guys. Take care, God bless. Keep safe.